Good morning, guys. It is just about to be the Costco drop. It is literally like 9.56, so we're about to get it. Wish me luck. Right now, we got the good old zero batches on the screen, but that is probably about to change. Today, we're gonna be mostly talking about the fuel assistance that Instacart is like sort of launching. We're gonna be looking at exactly how much money we're gonna be getting from this uh, assistance thing. And uh, we're gonna see if it actually helps. We're gonna try and estimate how much gas money I spent today and then subtract the, the fuel assistance from that and we'll see how much they helped. It's kind of hit or miss. So we're gonna be talking about how it's been working lately and how it's so spotty on what batches actually have it and what don't. I talked to a, a support agent. So we're gonna be looking at that as well later in this video. But for now, we're just gonna go get the Costco drop. We're gonna do some ride along stuff, the bread and butter of this channel and then um, we'll get back to you in a little. Wish me luck. Hopefully we get something pretty good today to start our day off. I don't wanna start with a $30 batch just because this is usually the most money I make all day right here. We gotta do some big. All right guys, so you might see we're in a different spot. We ended up just taking a $70 Sam's Club order after sitting for like 50 minutes. It's a, a triple order. So last time this happened, I couldn't fit the order in my car. So wish us luck. Hopefully we can still fit it in our car. It doesn't look as bad as the last one I did like this. But for $70, like no questions are asked. I'm just gonna try. I don't even know what the miles are, but I don't think they matter. But yeah, I'll get back to you guys in a little. Wish me luck. This order was huge. It took me an hour to shop and we had to make a ton of new items. So they're adding items the entire time, all three customers. So a lot of work. Okay, here's the order. Oh no. I could barely fit all that in my car. I can still see the mirror, if you're wondering. But yeah, I feel bad this took so long. Like my first customer only has like five items and I still took this long. So I have to let them know that there's three people on this order just so they're not upset with me. Well, that's not my fault. I'm gonna start delivering these. I probably should get on that as fast as possible. And um, I'll get back to you whenever I'm done with this. Then we can actually talk about fuel assistance and see if we got any on this order. I don't think we did, but uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. Guys. No one else is here, Honda. No one else is here. This is bad. Usually if I have that much junk in the front seat, I do throw the seatbelt on just so that doesn't pop up the entire time, but I didn't think two cooks would do it. Stop. The order is finally done with, it is already 1.30 and we've only done one order today. It's kind of ridiculous. The order did pay very well, but it also took almost three hours of time, so it breaks down to right around 25 an hour. But uh, yeah, we're gonna explain this order more in the office. It's just gonna be easier. All right, guys, we're back at the office. Let's talk about the Sam's Club order real fast. This order took us nearly two and a half hours to complete, which is just absurd. So the 71 sounded nice, but in reality, it breaks down to like around 20 an hour, I believe, maybe a little bit more, but Still not the greatest. Not complaining though, because it was a slow day and if I didn't get that order, I would have not made much money at all today. All right, so let's talk about customer A because yes, this had three people on it at a wholesale company. Not a good idea. Order A, a sweet elderly lady. She handed me a two to $3 cash tip. I honestly can't remember. I was just happy. She only ordered five items too. So she tipped me like $10 just to get her some Coke and some cat toys. All right, next up we have customer B. This one is the reason it took so long. It sounds like she placed this order pretty fast and she wasn't able to double check it. So she was adding items almost the entire time. So it was kind of like ping pong around the store, but hey, it is what it is. And I'm happy that we're able to get everything for her. So anyways, we pull up to her apartment and uh, yeah, we drop everything off. Fun stuff. She gave me a gate code too, so props to you lady. She gave me a $5 tip, but she gave me a really nice review, I think. Someone did, and I'm almost positive it's her because of the stuff that she said. I shopped this order in about 30 minutes, but I ended up shopping another 30 minutes because she kept adding these items at places that I already passed. These are big stores, so going back and forth a lot really eats up your time. All right, order C was a business, so I pull up and I drop everything on the ground as usual, just right in the parking spot. I don't even open their door or talk to them. I just, right in the parking lot. 
dropped on the ground. Okay, just kidding. I met a person, I had to scan their ID. I put it all at the desk. I didn't throw it, almost said that, but I, I carefully set it down and uh, they tipped me $45. So quite the order, am I right? You know what time it is. It's time to get some snacks. This is some of the best stuff you can get on the road right here at home, not even McDonald's. Wow. Yeah, that order really took it out of me, but uh, we're gonna try and get some other orders so we can actually see if we're gonna get any fuel assistance today. And um, we might not even get any, uh, just being honest, we'll have to see. I'm trying guys, I'm trying, but the orders are not worth it. All right, so I'm trying to hide this and not accidentally accept it, but notice how there's no fuel assistance and it's Costco. All right guys, this video is a complete disaster if I'm being honest. The concept of this video was supposed to be seeing how much fuel assistance I got from working with Instacart. And uh, the problem is I got a whopping zero dollars in fuel assistance today, even though it is a thing and some stores have it, some stores apparently don't have it. So we're gonna be taking a look at why I wasn't given any fuel assistance today at least to the best of our knowledge and the lovely Instacart support agents. All right, so we're gonna be taking a look at this comment first because I was not seeing any fuel assistance for a while and neither was my buddy around me. So I was a little bit concerned, so I sent them a message. This is what they had to say about that. So a temporary gas surcharge will go into effect later this month. The $40, oh, sorry, the 40 cents USD surcharge will be applied to customer orders and the full amount will go directly to full service shoppers we'll share additional information about this program next week and i said okay cool i was super hyped you know next day comes around i'm seeing fuel assistance on heb orders and i'm like wow i'm about to make some extra money so after shopping all day and getting zero fuel assistance, I talked to another support agent. They're, they're probably getting tired of me by now, but let's take a look at what they said. All right, so basically me and my buddy, we've been talking about this, trying to figure this out. He thinks that it's not happening at stores like Costco and Sam's. So guess what? I only shopped Costco and Sam's today and I got zero fuel assistance. So it seems like we're on the right track. All right, so basically a quick summary. I asked if certain stores don't get fuel assistance and I said I've been shopping at Costco and Sam's Club and I have not received any yet. So this is what they said. Yes, it will depend on the store. I feel like that would have been nice to know whenever you guys release the update on the fuel assistance and it's a little annoying and I'm sure it's just because Instacart has different contracts with stores like Costco and Sam's Club than they do with companies like Walgreens or HEB. So the standard order with like a HEB still does give you fuel assistance about 40 cents per order and then if you're doing Costco only like me or Sam's Club like you're not getting anything and it just stinks. As the CEO said they want to leave it all on the table, right? Where's the info, guys? Like, like, why weren't the shoppers told that it won't be applied to all stores? I just think that's a little sus. Just saying. Not that the 40 cents really would have helped me much today. Shout out to the customers that have been giving me better fuel assistance than Instacart. A lot of them have been tipping higher or leaving me cash tips just to make up for the gas prices. And that makes such a big difference, guys. Like, you have no idea. And that means a lot more to me than the $2 I might get from Instacart. What a day, what a day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Thank you guys for your continued support for some reason. You guys have been killing it. You guys are making my job a lot more entertaining. I'm able to like just vlog and make extra money from vlogging what I do already. I think that's a win-win and I really appreciate you guys. I just wanted to let you know. Anyways, have a good one guys. I'll see you on the next one.